Welcome to Singapore Airport. We've got 17 hours in this airport. 17, not seven. <laughs> so we're going to be exploring Singapore Airport today. There is so much to do. There's a free cinema, um, there's a pool, we've got a lounge access, um, there's botanical gardens. There's a there's... butterfly garden, I think. And there's an indoor waterfall, the largest one in the world. So we're but... going to see if we can fill up the 17 hours in this airport. So it's currently 4 p.m. in the afternoon and our boarding time is until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we have a lot of time to kill. We've just set a timer on Joel's phone and so we've got about 15 hours, 56 minutes and nine seconds. So yeah, let's get going. So here we've got a big Louis Vuitton store. There's loads of designer stores here in the airport and we're only in Terminal 3 at the moment. We have a lounge booked um, by a Get Your Guide in Terminal 1. So we'll have to get like the, I don't know, the transport there or something, so. I think yeah. it's the Sky Train. Yeah, the Sky Train, that's what it's called. So we have just come to Singapore's Food Street stall and I think we're going to get some Singapore food because I'm pretty hungry. So I'll go for the roasted chicken. I've got it. It looks so good. Yum. You, have the, you have the rice, I'll have this. No. <laughs> we need cutlery, I think. Oh. So I went for the Hainese chicken rice because I really, really liked it when we were in uh, Singapore, the actual city, not the airport. And it was only $4 there, but here it's $7.50. Obviously, because it's the airport, it's going to be more expensive. And what did you go for? I've got similar, but this is a Thai style, like Chinese chicken. So I think it's got some Thai spices and breadcrumbs, but it looks really, it really looks good. It looks a little more spicy, which would be nice. Mm. Right, let's dig in. Ooh. Honestly, this chicken rice tastes so good, like it does in the city, just a little bit more expensive, but definitely recommend coming to this Singapore street food. So nice. So we've finished some food. I don't know what you call that, lunch or dinner, and we've just seen the butterfly garden so we're gonna go in there and check it out because I think think it's very unique so yeah oh here we go take nothing but photographs awesome this is so random I haven't seen any yet oh there's one Oh yeah, they're all up there trying to escape. Whoa, there's lots there. I tell you what, it is so warm in here. It's much warmer than Indonesia or Bali here. And we've got these little butterflies eating some pineapple. I didn't think we'd be doing this in the airport. This is like so unique. I didn't even know this was here to be honest until I saw it online. I was like, we can't go there. So we have just seen that there's a free cinema, so we're going to go upstairs and see what times there are for films, because why not watch a film in exactly. the airport? So. Maybe they've got popcorn. Oh, that would be so good. Okay, so we're in the movie theatre. How cool is that? What times we've got? What do you want to watch? Right, let's see what time we've got free here. Every time. Yeah, 17 hours. <laughs> well, 15 hours or 14 hours left now. And we can come back later. I think we're going to come back later because there's so many films on. So we are going to get the Sky Train to Terminal 1 because we think that's where the cool indoor waterfall is. I think quite a lot of cool stuff is in Terminal 1. So let's go check it out. Because it's number one. So we have just arrived in Terminal 1 and time to explore this part of Changi Airport. Changi. Changi. Like a Chang beer in Thailand, but... I keep thinking Changu. Oh, it's not Changu. It's not Chang beer. It's Changi Airport. <laughs> so I've just seen the cactus garden, so we're going there. I don't know what that's like, but we've definitely got to go. I like cactuses. Yeah? Cactuses are quite nice, so why not go see them? Yeah. It feels very weird to be outside when we're actually in an airport still. But here's a load of cactuses. Didn't think I'd be like going to Africa during this trip in the airport. I think we're walking through like a toy section now. This is like chocolate and stuff. But we've just seen a water lily garden. So we're going outside again because... There's so many gardens. Yeah, 
so much to see. So this place is a water lily garden, but I think it's just like another no name for a smoking area because everyone's just smoking. It's just a fancy smoking area with a few nice lilies. Pretty much, yeah. It looks nice though. Lovely little tropical plants. I think we're the only people exploring it. Everyone else is just... Huh? Having a smoke. Right, should we go back? Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> smoky. Okay, so we've just been chilling for quite a while now and it's nearly nine o'clock so we're gonna head to a lounge because we've got a lounge booked for three hours. We're hoping we can eat some food, have some drinks and stuff like that and then yeah we're gonna check it out and see if you should do it because it was only like 20, 25 quid each so yeah we're gonna Let's give it a go. Welcome to the Plaza Premium Lounge. I'm just going to give you a voiceover because I didn't really want to disturb people just vlogging in this lounge. But honestly, this place is amazing. We had so much food. We both had Indian curries and you can have unlimited drinks, alcoholic and obviously soft drinks as well. There was coffees. It was really good. But honestly, the best thing is having a shower. Also, we were gifted this lounge by Get Your Guide. And if you want to do this lounge, then it was only 25 pounds for three hours. Probably saved us money because we didn't have to buy any more food or drinks. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to do this, if you're transferring in Singapore. I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, so it is shower time. And we are in this shower, which is part of the suite which I got with Get Your Guide. It looks pretty decent. We got, have we got any soap and stuff? Oh, it looks like there's soap. That's pretty cool. And yeah, it's quite roomy. Like there's lots of room to, I don't know, do the dancing and just, yeah, put on some fresh clothes and just feel good about myself because I'm feeling a bit dirty because what's the time? How many hours have we got left? Nine hours and 16 minutes, it says. You also get a fresh towel with the shower, so you don't even need to bring a towel in your hand luggage, which is amazing. And yeah, I can't wait. I'm gonna jump in here and feel super fresh. So they also give you a little toothpaste and toothbrush. So I don't know what this is. Something for your nails, maybe. And a little soap or ew things to clean your ears so really cool so I'm gonna brush my teeth and actually make myself feel really fresh for once on a 17 hour stopover I don't know what's going on out there okay so I'm fully refreshed I've brushed my teeth I've literally washed with soap which was provided here I'm feeling good and that's my end of my shower and um, yeah I think we're gonna probably exit the lounge soon because we've had all the drinks and stuff so yeah let's go so we just spent our three hours in that lounge and honestly i think it was worth it it really was especially the shower the shower was so nice and um, got nice towels stuff to use it was good and like all the food and all the drinks you can have as many drinks and food as you want there wasn't loads of options but i'm pretty full and we made sure we had lots of drinks to make it worth it so yeah definitely would recommend our flight has just arrived on the board even though it's still eight nine hours till we take off and eight hours and something till we can actually board the plane which is crazy it's so good. but it's there we're we're going we're going home i'm personally getting very sleepy how are you doing a little sleepy <laughs> but we're gonna try and find this place where basically i think it's a free kind of lounge thing where you can just sleep or maybe recline chairs because honestly my eyes are starting to go a little red and I'm getting tired. There it says snooze lounge. Let's follow that sign. I don't know if you saw the sleeping lounge, but it wasn't actually that big. It wasn't very impressive. So we've got a nice bit of floor here. And we're going to lie on the floor and see if we can get any sleep, to be honest. We still got like seven hours or something till we can check, check in. No, till we can our boarding time begins. So oh, we're gonna see if we can get some sleep because sleeping is so important. I use this as an eye mask. Huh? You, look, you look like a duck. Thanks. So we have just had what one to two hours sleep. Not very good sleep, just on this hard floor. But it is carpeted at least. Um, and all the shops are closed now, so you can't really buy much. 
but there is a 24 hour food store just up there so you, you can actually have like proper cooked food if you are hungry we I'm didn't hungry, but... yeah we didn't have, i didn't sleep very well amelia seemed to sleep a little bit longer but i don't know where we're going we are just got to walk and see if we can find somewhere else to sleep or maybe go into the free cinema so it's 306 in the morning what a showing at this time Raya and the Last Dragon. Oh, I love that film. We missed half of it. Is it good? So we went to watch the movie. We actually ended up watching the whole thing. Um, it's called Raya and the and the Last Dragon or something. But it was a really good film. And it's so weird, like to have a cinema in the airport. Like, well, I was not expecting that. And it's free, which is so cool. It is coming up to 6 a.m. So we've got about two hours until we can finally board. Um, we're not sure what gate number we are yet, but honestly, I'm so tired. We've just been like, it's basically sitting down, like just watching things, doing random things on our phone. It's been tough. It, it has been tough. Um, yeah, I feel exhausted. I'm gonna sleep very well on this plane. So after a couple of hours doing not a lot, just kind of sleeping, going on our phones, we actually did have some food, but honestly, I'm knackered. I, I'm ready to sleep through this next flight, this 14 hour flight back to London. Um, I don't know. I mean, we've saved some money by um, staying here 17 hours, but boy, was it hard. It was hard. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> We're heading to our gate now because we finally know, and we've only got about 40 minutes till we can board, which is so exciting. Oh, my it's mask actually is given, upside down. It's given me a bit of excitement. So, yeah, let's go board the plane. Also, if you want to go to Changi Jewel, the indoor waterfall in Singapore Airport, it's not actually in the transit. You have to go out of the airport. So, we didn't do that, but we could have. But yeah, um, just something to note if you're transiting here in Singapore. <clears throat> I guess if there's any airport to do 17 hours in, this is probably the best one. We didn't even get a chance to obviously go to the indoor waterfall and the swimming pool, but you do have to pay 20 Singapore dollars. All right, let's get on this flight. So we are back in the UK after five months of traveling Southeast Asia and it feels really good to be home and just see our family and everything. It is quite relaxing being home to be fair because obviously we are traveling but we're also doing a lot of work with this YouTube channel and all TikTok and stuff so it's nice just to relax a bit and not do too much. But saying that we have got quite a few plans. We're going to probably do you know a bit of traveling in the UK but not that much and then probably somewhere in Europe for like a couple of weeks. And then we are planning, to, we've got two options and maybe your opinion matters. Either go back to Southeast Asia um, in October or potentially Central America, but we're not 100% sure. If you've got an opinion, like put it down below and let us know. Also, I'm gonna be making some like guides to help you travel Thailand and like places to go and places in Bali as well. So if that's interested, make sure you are subscribed if you're not already. But honestly, those five months were amazing. They went so quickly as well. I can't believe it's been that long already. <laughs> but like, when we look back, we're like, we, it went quick, but we did so much. Like, we have so many memories, so many photos, so much content to share, which we haven't even shown you yet. But honestly, thank you so much for following our journey for the last five months. If you have been, or if you haven't, you need to subscribe. But anyway, thank you for watching um, this video and we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye. Bye.